Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Pemberton Court, South Woodford, London, E18, a 16 apartment block. We're going to the top floor. Come with me and let's take a look around. There is something nice about having a top floor apartment. Apart from nobody is above you, you've got lots of light. Well, we face the right way south for the sun. So you'll see all of the natural light comes in through these really big double glazed windows. This is third floor. There are 16 flats in this block. It's video entry phone security. We've got electric gate on the side with private parking. You're gonna look at in a little while the raised deck sunbathing area, which is really good. This is a great apartment with lots of natural feel and the flow works really well. Now, in the lounge where we are at the moment, solid wooden floor, gas central heating is a real bonus. Too many flats at the moment are built with just electric. This is gas gas hob and gas heating. Now, open plan lounge, which has been perfectly divided up, so you've got a natural kitchen area, you can then have a dining area, there's a breakfast bar there, and the area here for your lounge. Takes quite comfortably, settee, TV aerial, you can put a TV on the wall, great views out the back. Now we're gonna spin round and I'm gonna show you the kitchen area. This is a superb kitchen, it's modern, it's minimalist, it's new, it's been installed by Urban Myth, it's got ample work surfaces, it's got a great breakfast bar which is superb. Remember I spoke earlier on about gas central heating, We've got a four in gas burner with a matching extractor hood above. We've got inset spot lighting in the ceiling, in the extractor hood and in the under counter units. We've got a glass splashback, another bonus I like about this flat, it's got a full double fridge freezer. It's got a full size integrated dishwasher. It's got all of that plus more. Lots of work surfaces, lots of natural light comes in through the skylight above. It's a truly great kitchen. Let's go and look at the bedroom. This bedroom makes you feel like you're in a loft. I know we're on the top floor, but the sloping ceiling gives a nice, warm, cozy feel. Not cozy in terms of small, because this is a really good size. Comfortably takes a bed, got a TV and a phone point, radiator, lots of space for a wardrobe, a dressing table. You could even have a small settee in here. It works really well. Now, let's go and look at the bathroom and the utility cupboard. For those of you who've watched some of my videos before, you'll know that I'm big on talking about the feel and the flow and the natural light and all of the things that make the property feel really great. Nobody wants to live in a house that's got a north facing garden with huge big trees that swamp the light and block it all out. Same as nobody wants to live in a top floor apartment where there's no light that comes into the bathroom. Now, this has got it all and more. Large bathroom, panel bath with a separate shower and a glass screen, low flush WC pedestal wash hand basin, tiled walls and tiled floor, look at the size of that window to the side, all of that natural light comes in and we've got a heated chrome tower on. So that brings us almost to the end of our tour on 14 Pemberton Court. One of the final things I need to point out to you is the utility cupboard. It's got the washing machine plumbed in there, it's got a wall mounted central heating boiler and it's got the electrics. Plus it's got some additional space for ironing board, hoover, golf club, sports equipment, whatever you want, but it's a great space to have away from the kitchen. When you're sitting watching a TV, you've not got the spin dryer going around on the washing machine because it's tucked away in the utility cupboard. So that is a true bonus. Lots of natural light, as I've mentioned quite a few times, floods in through these windows. Great views over the car park. It works really well. Entry phone system, security gate, private parking, raised decked area. It's got all plus more. My name is Neil King, thank you.